Hello out there. First of all, accept my sincere apologies that I could not put up uh, my videos for a considerable period of time due to various engagement in my office and in my personal domain. This is not an excuse. I know there are many dedicated viewers out there uh, and I have received certain emails from them as well that uh, it has been long gap uh, for my next video. Uh, from next on, time onward, I'll be trying to stick to my schedule, uh, at least uh, one video per week or uh, twice or twice a week or two, two videos uh, as depending on the time and things available to me. Now, uh, in today's topic, I have brought out a video uh, in a very interesting topic. It is about the, you know, pawning the RT, RTSP. Now, what is RTSP? RTSP is nothing but a real time streaming protocol. It is actually based on HTTP protocol. So whatever the attack that you can think of in HTTP based uh, applications, you can think the same in this this particular thing, uh, uh, protocol as well. Now, if, when I'm talking about the RTSP protocol, like HTTP protocol works in a web framework, okay? So where the RTSP protocol, uh, you know, comes into play. So RTSP protocol basically uh, play in our webcam. So basically the target uh, of us uh, for the today's video is webcam. Now uh, in this video, I'm not going to show you an actual hacking, but I'll be sh showing you uh, how threat intel uh, platform out there, you know, like Sodan and the criminal IP, Senses, okay, uh, Intel X or, or different kind of uh, platforms are there that how these platforms are, you know, uh, giving us a, um, you know ways that uh, uh, this platform regularly scan the devices on internet like iot devices and other thing now how this uh, platform basically keeps their snapshot so while going through one of that uh, it uh, came into my mind that uh, i should do something uh, to show uh, that uh, yes uh, all this information out there if uh, you know you can use uh, through a very small uh, automated python program and I'll be showing you that as well. And at the same time, I'm going to put up that thing on my GitHub repo. So uh, what I'll be using here that, uh, you know, uh, what is this uh, RTSP? Basically, RTSP, all the uh, webcam, okay, they basically try to stream media. And for streaming the media, they uh, require some time uh, authentication, uh, basic authentication, okay, which uh, mostly, you know, uh, travels to the uh, through the basic headers which uh, try to encrypt the you know username password in form of base 64 okay so here is the program that i have, i was talking about it is about the rtsp uh, dot pi actually before uh, shooting this video i actually you know uh, download some ips from the uh, threat enter platform and i have kept it in a file now this python program will just you know short uh, that uh, file and process this file to you know give me out uh, the uh, uh, you know uh, vulnerable endpoint of the RTSP. Now uh, these are you can see right before your screen that uh, uh, the file is just before you and it is it is showing me a considerable amount of IP along with their port. Mostly RTSP works on 554, but sometimes it it may be customized with some other uh, different uh, ports as well. So. Uh, if you you need to just uh, check through the HTTP response headers and uh, mostly which uh, comes with like describe, set up, uh, play, pause, this kind of thing which uh, which you generally expect uh, in a, a video file, okay. So I'm just launching my RTSP Python file. Sorry, uh, I think I just forgot to mention uh, the uh, read command because I'm using uh, OS module of uh, Python and for OS module of Python, uh, there is a program, there is a module is called uh, popen and uh, through this program, you can actually uh, grab the output of an, uh, you know, command and you can do the further processing on that. So this is a mini by Python script to automate the uh, things uh, or pawning the RTS, RTSP. And so let me put the print. Uh, message.read now i'll just run uh, relaunch my program and we'll expect that it is going to give me uh, some um, uh, some of the vulnerable ip among the list that i have 
gathered from that the thread enter platform okay so it is going to take certain time so i think uh, you may bear it or at the same time you may skip this portion with a speed of 2x uh, as you as you feel uh, i have also tried to you know pause the video in between uh, but uh, uh, later on i found that this is not the way to create an you know a continuous uh, like i have to show you each and every steps what is whatever that is happening even if it is there is even if there is some uh, failures you need to know that how to uh, troubleshoot the failures okay so that's why i recommend you because the video is very short it's i think it's going to take only 10 minutes of video so just bear with it okay and uh, in the later part of video uh, you will be seeing that uh, i have you know uh, given uh, uh, a little bit of customization so that i can grab only those command uh, only those outputs which are uh, you know uh, which basically fetches the results to me so uh, now what you can do after getting in suppose you are getting an rtsp protocol endpoint now uh, how you are going to play that rtsp now uh, ironically ironically that we have got vlc player and if you just go the vlc player see uh, this is the uh, that pause part so uh, the vlc player you just uh, put the rtsp or see we have got some rtsp protocol uh, rtsp endpoints urls now but all these urls i think is uh, showing under uh, errors okay so this is not that is not going to play for us in order to play uh, as i was describing that you can play it uh, through vlc uh, you have to just play the network stream but network stream uh, option and put a uh, put the rtsp uh, protocol uh, rtsp url over there and if it is uh, if it can be played with without any credentials then uh, see i'm just launching the vlc and uh, in is going to rtsp and just putting that url and if uh, that url is accessible then it will sh uh, show us the result otherwise it will just uh, in a pop up the error message will be before us now i think in some time uh, we are going to get the some other ips as well which are which are basically you know uh walking so let's see that whether we find something or not yes i think we have found something so let's try to put that okay and okay so this is the thing okay so let's try to play it for time okay again it is it is waiting at that point of time only because the uh, result was getting processed at such a slow speed so sometimes i has to pause the video so uh, sometimes you are seeing that uh, uh, interface just because of that now let's try to put uh, copy this url and paste it in the vlc again and let's see what we can get out of it but uh, for the next video uh, you may i can assure you one thing that you are going to get something very interesting and uh, i'm just uh, you know uh, try to show you uh, hacking rtsp uh, uh, in the beginning you know, without using any threat rental platform okay it will be based it will be like you know modeling on uh, pen testing and rtsp see so we have got an uh, insecure webcam out there so if uh, this kind of uh, uh, webcam if it, if it is insecure you can definitely uh, put a surveillance of the uh, person or surveillance of the surrounding so i think uh, this all thing uh, you can see that i am just uh, getting the feed of first march okay <coughs> I have further customized this script uh, by you see there is a um, <coughs> special tag called discovered so what I try to do that if uh, discovered tag is there then then show me the result so it is it uh, saved me from getting unnecessary you know as, um, output from the nmap okay nmap also has a module called rtsp vulnerability checking RT rtsp hyphen star so it will try to launch all the scripts see the another and at the same time 
uh, you may uh, uh, all these things like um, it captures the volume uh, surround sound system also surround sound also so you can get the surround sounds as well okay so this uh, definitely put a additional threat on you <coughs> hope you have uh, loved the video so far and it has given you a little bit of uh, knowledge or maybe add on to your existing knowledge in uh, whatever you have now Acosta, I have further customized this script and I'm just going to put this script on my GitHub repo. And uh, friends, uh, just forgive me for this time and uh, please uh, keep showering your love to my channel as you have done in past. And uh, I'll be coming up with uh, the interesting video time and again. Thank you. Have a great day.